Rich Brian, uh, a guy we, we reviewed last year, his uh, debut album, Amen. Really uh, interesting that, you know, he's a, uh, he's a person who has risen to fame in a, I guess, a, a more, uh, it's le- not as unorthodox as it used to be, but kind of through like YouTube videos and mm-hmm. kind of goofy stuff. Um, originally was, uh, was it like, uh, real Chiga was his rap Rich, name? Rich Chiga. Yeah. Rich Chiga. That's a um, big breakout hit for him. And then, uh, he dropped Amen. And I think we were pleasantly surprised at how, uh, how good it was because we, I think our expectations going into it were kind of low. You know, he's someone that didn't have a, a huge musical back background. So we were like, uh, eh, what are we going to expect? The Sailor feels like, a major step up for him in my opinion um this the sophomore album what I, at least from what i hear is i hear him going from this almost like sideshow kind of like gimmicky person into like a real artist with this and it was really exciting the the production on it was super smooth I, I thought there was a lot of really cool choices in terms of the sound he was going for but before i, I get too far into it how did you feel about rich brian's uh sophomore album the sailor I agree with everything you said. Yeah, uh, the growth is just so apparent. And, Mm -hmm. you know, he turns 20 in September. Going from someone who wasn't given off the energy of being a serious musician early with the Rich Chicken name, the Dat Stick songs, all that, then to Amen, where he established himself. No, he's he's a real rapper, and he's actually pretty good. And now we have Sailor, where he's leveled up again, I think lyrically for sure, but also diversifying his sound. It is happened in not that uh, long stretch of time and as you said I, i'm really excited just for the future of him we know the 88 rising base is mm-hmm. really strong and it's a good support system for uh the all the asian artists they have on the, in their in their stable right now and yeah i'm just really excited to keep see where it keeps going because i think there's a lot lot to like on this which was the case with amen but again it just keeps taking the next step and it's really cool to see because again he's not someone who's super mainstream uh in the hip hop space. So love it. Yeah. I think the thing that most impressed me in terms of this, like step up as an artist is our knock in our last review was his songs didn't have a lot to say on amen. You know, they were kind of jokey, but it seemed they were, they were very surface level, but I feel like on this album, he really starts to dig in a little bit more into his story. Um, you know, his rise to fame, failed relationships, things like that. It seemed like he just had a little more to say and he said it so confidently and he really, I think, was able to display uh, uh, that he's getting a grasp for flow. Because I think on Amen, another thing that kind of stood out was his flow was sometimes too similar from song to song and didn't really stand out. But this, you really no- notice him changing up his flow from song to song and even mid song sometimes, which I thought was a really good sign for him growing as a rapper. Yeah, for sure. Um... You know, I'm just thinking of the recent releases on 88. We talked about the Head in the Clouds group album, but more specifically, Joji's album, Ballads One, and then this year, yeah. Higher Brothers with Five Star. And I guess jo- Joji's actually kind of similar just because the way yeah. they both came up as non-traditional musicians. But I think, I, I mean, Rich Brian's kind of always been tabbed as like the, the pure hip-hop figurehead of 88. But, you know, I'm just saying, I, I like this more than anything else I've heard from the label thus far, just because I think that the ambition is strongest on this. But I mean, like Higher Brothers too, like they, they don't have the lyrical content that Rich Brian shows on this, but they're just making like really good Chinese trap. And that's totally cool. Yeah. And like, it sounds awesome and they have good features. But Rich Brian, because he's 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 not in that lane, never was in that lane post that stick. You kind of wanted to see like, wait, wait, where is he going to go? And as you said, on Amen, we didn't really know what the end game was for him just because it was ultimately middling if proving competence, right? And now releasing songs like Yellow, which lyrically he's really exploring his both journey to the States as a immigrant from Indonesia, as well as a Asian artist in a space that does not have a lot of Asians. Uh, he was tackling a lot of stuff there. And meanwhile, that's, just, that's the first real, and that was one of the lead singles, but that's one of the first, first songs he have released that, is very melodic, something he hasn't mm-hmm. really done at all. And the fact that it actually is produced well and sounds pretty good um, is almost like a bonus to me. Like I was just, I was just going to appreciate him give, taking the swing, but I actually think it lands. And then meanwhile, on the same album, we have a song like "Kids," which is a traditional 
boom yeah. back rap where rich brian's like oh yeah I- i'm still like a good rapper like listen to this and mm-hmm. he actually has real bars on that uh shouting out 88 shouting out nipsey and mac uh, i like that song a lot um and then you know towards the end it's only like 100 degrees again get to that melodic flow almost like more like a like a pop trap song you know so mm-hmm. i think that the variety sprinkled in around taking some bigger lyrical swings just uh it's pretty impressive considering again the journey he's been on in only a few years yeah you mentioned kids I, that was one that stood out to me right away um you know i really like the horns in that and then it brings in these uh this is this like simple beat underneath it it just feels so triumphant something that actually reminded me a little bit of, of chance in a way uh someone we're gonna be talking about but his last album coloring book was just so triumphant in that same sure. sense and then I, I thought the ending slow down turbo to curious with uh, Joji was, was really, uh, really strong. So um, just some, just some really uh, great songs on here and going back to like that sound choice, I feel like he kept it simple for the most part. There wasn't like a lot of like complex beats or anything like that, but he chose to use like different instruments. Like, um, you know, a song like curious, uh, it has just like the simple guitar loop that keeps playing over and over with these like woodwind flints, uh, woodwind flutes coming in at the end. Um, and just this really simple beat, but he just flows over it so naturally and creates this very, like, a, I think unique sound to what he wants to be as an artist. So that, that mel- melodic sense you talked about. So just, uh, some really good stuff here from Rich Brian, really excited to see where, where he goes moving forward. Um, any other songs that stood out to you or any last thoughts? No, I, I think you nailed those. Um, I mean, uh, second track, uh, rap, pop, 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 pop with RZA. <laughs> yeah. Getting yeah. a RZA feature and, it, and not not like a mailed in RZA feature, like it actually like fits the song, mentions Rich Brian. Like that's also crazy good cosign. Yeah. <laughs> to say the obvious. 